Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSI Ski. See, Washington School is Cool News Program. I'm Jackson Colabro, your news anchor for today. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd, 2019. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the and the republic of for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for the moment of silence. A proud patriot for the day is Anila from Learning Center B. We challenge Anila, Anila for the patriot Anila with the patriot promise of active listening. Active listening means really listening to someone before res- responding. Every time you see Anila showing active listening today, let her know. Great job, patriot. Keep up the excellent work. Tomorrow. Is class picture day. Be sure to wear your best tomorrow for the picture. If you have PE tomorrow, you may want to bring a cha- a change of clothes or comfortable shoes to change into. On the menu for lunch today, you'll have a choice between a hamburger, cheeseburger, or a well butter sandwich string. Cheese, chips, and home style baked beans, potato wedges, c- cucumber, and Tomato cups, mixed berry cups, and craisins will also be served. Now let's check check in with our other WSIC reporters and see what they have to share with us today. Today's science question asks, what color is the polar bear skin? Nope, it's not white. Despite the polar bear's snowy looking exterior, the skin the skin underneath all that fur is actually black. A polar bear's fur is actually see-through. The, chan- the transparent hairs have no pigment, but they reflect sunlight, making them appear white. Under the skin, polar bears are protected by a layer of fat that is almost five inches thick. For today's science segment, I'm Madison Ball. Now back to the studio. Welcome back to Let's Talk Sports with A. Papfield. Today we will be talking about Tim Tebow. In 2006, Tebow received an athletic scholarship to attend the University of Florida to play for its famed football team, the Gators. He spent his freshman year as a backup, but he became a key contributor for a team that went on to win the BCS championship. The following year, he became the he became the starting quarterback and won, among um, among other honors, the Heisman Trophy for for outstanding all around player, and the Davy O'Brien Award for outstanding quarterback. Standing six three, tall and weighing around two hundred and forty pounds, Tebow was referred to by one NFL coach as the strongest human being that ever played the position of quarterback. He was chosen by the Denver Broncos in the first round of the 2010 draft and signed a five-year contract to play second string behind Broncos QB Kyle Orton. I'm Abe Hatfield with Let's Talk Sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, team. Yesterday's riddle asked, which is heavier, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? The answer is that they both weigh the same. It would take a lot of feathers to weigh a ton, but 2,000 pounds of feathers weigh the same. 
as 2,000 pounds of bricks. Today's riddle asked, I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest man or woman can't hold me for more than five minutes. What am I? Tune in tomorrow for the answer. Signing off for WSIC crew, I'm Jackson Calabro. Tune in next time for your WSIC news. Have a great day. Thank you.